Hey guys, hope you're doing well. In today's video, I'm going to draw Gwen Stacy from Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. I'm going to start with basically her constructing her up. We've got her face here and she's got a hoodie hoodie on that comes wraps around, comes down and back in there. Why am I doing pencil lines? Because I find it easier to construct it up, get it looking good first, then outline it. So let's this is the one of the most important parts of her is her obviously her face. We want to get that looking spot on. So I'm pretty happy with the, the shape, overall shape of that and where I've positioned everything so far. Now this is where we want to get her looking good. So she's got an arm that comes back there like that. Her other arm comes down, some cool line work. And her suit's pretty pretty cool. Then it comes her elbow comes through and her hand is a shape. I'm gonna do her hand as a sort of block her shape on. Then her fingers are going to come, one finger, two fingers, three, four, and then you see her other one there. So she's got her hand on the ground. Hands pretty similar to the size of her face. Then she's got this part of her top. Now her leg comes up there and down here. So it comes down like this, all these curves. And that's on the same sort of angle as that. Calf comes into there. The calf comes out. Just wondering if I'll bring that down a little bit into there. Cool leg, cool. She's got really long legs. This leg comes up. And then I'm going to just curve it around. This one is on a slightly, that's where her toe is, slightly higher than her hand, which is slightly higher than her foot. So with all drawing, it is basically lines and shapes make up all drawing and curves are one of them. Being able to draw curves, getting the curves right, and also proportions. Curves like that. Okay, so nearly got all the proportions of her on here. All right, let's get these fingers on. So we've got a thumb. Kicks around and then her finger is going away from us. And this one's going away as well. And then a couple are hidden. There's a one little bit there and then there's a little bit Coming down here, she must have her hands sort of. Right, let's outline her now. This is where we can change anything up that we need to. So, nice pointy sort of chin line. Couple of lines in there. For her eyes. Comes across and then back up and around like that. With our colouring, that's going to be super important too. Brings it around, comes down, and around like this. Remember, keep trying. Have fun. I hope you're having fun because I am. I love this movie, and she was a cool character in the movie. Across the Spider Verse. 
bring that around now all the webbing stuff that's in there I will probably do with a gel pen if I've got a aqua one or a pencil we'll wait and see um, okay this is the back of her thumb and her palm Her finger, another finger, wrist, elbow, another finger, and then another little bit here. Now let's bring this leg up so it curves up, in, and then she's got this really pointy knee. Bring this around. Changed it up a little bit there. And then her shoe. That comes around there. Some straps. So that strap comes around there. The strap comes around her leg there. And then there's another strap here. Alright, that comes up into her calf. Gets thicker as it comes out. Back to thin. This is her thigh, comes in, then comes it back underneath there. We have a little bit of a highlight there, which I can put on later on. Part of her top, part of her arm, and all in this shape here is the, the webbing. And then down to her hand. That's quite pointy, her elbow comes in and then out and back in all right hand tricky shading is going to make this look even better webbing of the fingers excuse the pun finger up into the knuckle hand and then you can see a little bit of this part here make sure that this line comes through it's a little bit of a bump in there and then out to her calf comes in then out back in bring that one down now we've got a shoe which is similar to the other one well, it's the same shoe, should I say, but it's drawn. All right, let's do the straps now. So you can see a strap that comes around there. And way across there, there's a strap. And then another strap comes in behind there. 